this is Gibbs Hunter Screen Reality Games, and you're watching Dustin, Lissy, and Till. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend. So long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Yep. So, um, basically, last episode we just found out the lore and history and background and stuff. Uh, apparently I am both Cassius and Jin combined to make dust or... I think it's Mithraran, everyone fancies calling me. Uh, but yeah, so we've headed to the Moonblood camp. And uh, this is lining up for what I'm assuming is going to be the final battle. Uh, so, we'll see what. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Miss Rara. Please, enter. Alright, one eye. Uh, so, with some lizard people jumping around. Look a lot more friendly than all the ones I've killed up until this point. We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Yep. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. No pressure. Ah, uh, well. No <laughs> pressure or anything. Oh, at least on the yeah. same lines as the flying talking cat thing. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys! Dun dun dun. How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? Nice to change the topic. It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, 
and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sinduk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. There it is. So, fix defenses and find the missing scout. First, talk to Ginger. Ginger? Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aura was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kind of hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Yep. Very tight start, but we'll have to go and um, do stuff to help the war. What's this fellow want? Talk. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. 
We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Probably the way to the next bit, so go ahead and even do this first. And lift and slow the ghost lights. Oh, this looks fun. This is where I go get myself killed. Run, 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 run. Yeah, there was a key there, thought so. Alright, so far. I'm not dead yet. Amazing. Given all the, the fire and death surrounding me. These guys aren't totally too hard. Compared to the other stuff I've been fighting recently. So times jumping puzzles with traps and monsters. All I can say is this is going to go horribly wrong at some point. Oh, slips. And again. <laughs> Luckily there wasn't any lava under that because I fell off it twice. And up here. Almost fell in there. Nice bit of reflex saving lately. Don't know why I kind of the sort of reflex in Rogue Legacy, or when it's actually really important. Let's try and grab all the bags of coins. It's in the collapsing platform. Well, this is the water pump. Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Fire. There go. Fire. So just sit and let it burn. Um, I, I am aware of this. More fire. All the fire. And if apparently one of the fire wasn't enough. That seemed to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, oh, stop. You're making me crunch. Well, the fire fixes everything. Down here. Nothing. Right. The crit is going for a button. Um, oh well, this looks horrible. Towards the wall of lava. Right, uh. Oh no. Yeah. Ah. <coughs> uh, I'm still not designed for this game. Oh well, that was um, amazing. The generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? An electric flying cat. 
Oops. Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside Aurora. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanjin. Jump. Beat them to death. Oh, that was ground. That's nice. Landed not in death. Uh, line jumps. Oh, that's not good. That's even less not good. <sighs> Let's not do that again. I'm amazed I've managed to do all that jumping without falling to my death. And route. Excellent work, Miss Rarin. Now that the power and water systems are working again, we can hold our ground against Gaius' soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. Yes. <laughs> Including my one. Which is the more amazing part of it. But anyway. Uh, did you hear something? Mm, lava. A talking cat thing. This has to be a trap. Well, I'm being overly cautious or anything. Oh no! Just look! Yep, it's a dead thing. It's the missing sentry. Moonblood. What happened here? Ah! Just look out! Look out. For the giant T-Rex coming behind me. Yeah. Uh, think about this. Yeah, that's the thing right there. Boom. I played a rope for far too long to not see things as stealthed. He's running along right there, which I missed. He's still right there. Got him. <laughs> the more I hit them, the more visible they become, which is nice. But then, um, yeah. Sneaky buggers with token devices now. Still don't have that key, so I assume I'll get it off one of these. Uh, Fell off, so I'll just leave him be down there. Serves him right, and then we'll not. No strike behind him. Fucked. There was an accidental block right there, but it worked. So good. There's the one down there on the left as well. Years of gaming experience. Looking for slightly discolored pixels. All comes in handy experience, I suppose. So I'm going back to town. Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaius's soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. 
Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. Yep. It sounds like Sanjin was able to get the pumps and generators working He's again. Already done it. No doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Our warriors are gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem, Dust. Use it to open the gate. Okay, so thank you, Elder, the, um, for everything. Gate thing. Well, we're back Whatever where we happens, were. Whatever happens, send Mithrarin. Know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. So, off to death we go. Probably would have been nice to be given us that key before we left, but, um, you know, running backwards and forwards, it's a thing. It's not like I haven't done enough of it. Typical quest giver. I've probably got a bunch of um, side quests on the go that I've just completely forgotten about again recently. Oh. Never mind. I'm not gonna get past me, you get sneaky stealth things. Moving swiftly along. So, water, wind, didn't really mean to fall down there. Mm -hmm. Dead end as well. There's another one down there. There he is. To work quite nicely. And bonus. And onwards to victory and death. And all that stuff. Which I'll keep it. We got here. It seems my secret is out, yes? Yeah. It honestly wasn't that much of a secret. So you were keeping watch on us this whole time? In a manner of speaking, just making sure you were well supplied for the journey. Well, we appreciate the help. I am glad, my friend. Anything you need, you just let me know. Hmm. Probably should get some bigger Haley stuff, but I'm um, not really needing it at the minute, so... Your transaction is most appreciated. Yep. Again, I press B. Thank you. You would think at some point throughout the game I'd learned enough to press that button. There! The warriors are gathering! Ah, Mithrarin. Superb timing. As you can see, our path out of the camp is blocked. Some manner of rock slide. Very unpredictable. Yes, that happens sometimes when you build your village in a volcanic wasteland. She does have a point. Anyway, we will need to clear this obstruction before we can exit the camp. I'll see what I can do. Oh, can't go up, so there's my floor down. Duh. More lava. Another chest. Okay, so that wasn't a complete waste. Um, let's see. Can't go up there. So, I guess we're gonna have to jump through more fire. I've completely missed this one. Ow. I 
a lot, not quite as much out as it should be as I'm just burst out into lava. Taking what, 26 damage and regening 15 per tick. So yeah, um, 11 damage thereabouts and I've got like 800 nod health. Probably not the uh, most threatening situation I've ever been in. as it probably should be. Just missed. Uh, press A while riding currents to get a massive boost upwards. Duh. Wow. Well, that's probably how I'm going to get all these secrets I've missed. That looks fairly useful. I remember there was like a bunch of keys and a bunch of things that were like on the top of drafts I couldn't get up. That's apparently how they want us to do it now. So, uh, don't know, I might go back and get them. I might just finish the game and go back and get them later. Oh, that was a spiky rock. I can say that's going to get us killed as well. We'll put spikes all in pearl my head on. Go, 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 go. And what's next? I have no idea what that is, but let's leave it be. Increases my health by 5%, which is not horrible. And I'm feeling alive. Jump. Jump. Higher out. Mm -hmm. Is there a lift over here or another air vent somewhere? No. So it's going to have to be this one. I'm just going to have to not suck at it. Like that. Typical. Hmm. Uh, somehow I don't think I'm supposed to go back that way. Oh, I fell down a hole. Uh, feeling alive. I was doing so well as well. This is right. Another jump. Oh, another one. And I'm up in this place. making them easier to spot. It's just a regular little thing. Thing. Do. Health of defense. Probably defense. That's a canny jump as well. Seems like a, a good place to put it. Let's 
blues was on the go. And then I guess I'll venture forward. Well done. Let us begin our assault. We're right behind you, Sandmith Rarin. But I think that's enough for this episode, so I'll end the video here and next episode we're going to war, so thanks for watching and